Uh, hi, everybody. Um, it's a small room. It's, uh, I hope it's not too loud. So um, I want to tell you about Watch It. I will uh, um, use the next 40 minutes uh, in order to tell you a little bit about the company, what it does. I will show you um, a live demo. I'll take you through the product. And then I will leave a couple of minutes for uh, Q&As if you want to ask some questions. Um, it's a mixed audience, I assume. So I don't know uh, how many of you are um, from the finance side, from the uh, marketing teams, whatever it is. I assume it's a, I assume it's a mix, so I'll try to touch a few touch points. Um, so Watch It was founded in 2012, it's almost, almost six years ago. Uh, we have offices uh, in London, New York, and Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv is where the R&D center is. That's where we started the company. Uh, headquarters is in New York. Um, and London basically serves all the EMEA market in uh, Asia Pacific. Um, we serve two, two big markets. We serve the media slash publishing markets and, uh, and brands uh, for the purpose of content marketing. So our platform is about video. I'll show you it in a minute. Uh, we have roughly 600 uh, publishing brands and brands um, who work with our content or with our platform on a daily basis and they produce anywhere between 35 to 40,000 videos every month. A <coughs> um, few of the names, I, I always show this slide, not, um, not, not to show off because I'm we're really proud of what we've done, but it's a, it's a big uh, mix of the most uh, relevant companies for those who, you who come from Germany. How many people are from Germany, by the way? A couple, so you probably know ProSieben, and you know RTL, and Funke, and Focus, and Focus Online, and so many other uh, great companies here in Germany which are clients of ours. You can see some of the names. And we're basically spread across, uh, across the world in every continent. So, <clears throat> very briefly what we do. Um, I don't know how many of you have ever tried to create a professional video. Have you ever edited video? Tried to? How easy was it? <laughs> uh, not fun is, is a British understatement. Uh, you, need to, you need to be a pro to use something like a Final Cut Pro, or Adobe Premiere, or those kind of things. And what we've, um, what we've tried to do is we've tried to simplify it. We figured out that if you look at the video ecosystem, the one thing that hasn't gone through any transformation in literally 30 to 40 years is how content is being produced. Primarily, it's done the same. People may have cut you know, tapes with scissors 30 years ago, now they do it digitally, but essentially, the process is the same, and you need a sound engineer, and you need a graphic designer, and you need a videographer, and you need to license content. It's just super complex. And especially these days, when um, um, people consume so much content in video, and when uh, content uh, evaporates in minutes, and you need to create more of it, uh, you need to have something which is much more agile. <coughs> Um, so this, this, is, this is what we're trying to solve, or actually solving, um, trying to make video fun to create, and, and easy and scalable. And a little bit on how we do it, we've actually, um, we're actually mixing three main components. One of them is, um, is automation. Um, I'm, I'm saying it like is with a grain of salt, because video storytelling cannot be completely automated. I would say that storytelling cannot be automated, because storytelling is about your opinion, about your sense of humor, about your point of view. And those are the kind of things you would probably never want to automate. If you see two, uh, two different people telling the same story, it's never the same, right? So these are the kind of things that we do not automate. But we do try to automate whatever is, uh, makes sense to automate in the process. And a couple of examples could be, I've created a video um, for my website in 16 by 9, and I want to create a square version of it for my Instagram account or my uh, Facebook account. With Watch It, it's a click of a button to move from one format to another. Or I already created a story and I want to bring the most relevant media to cover that story. With Watch It, it's about 10 seconds and it's all licensed. And I'll show you in a minute. So we automate everything, including branding and sound mixing and lots of other stuff. You will see everything in a, in a, in a couple of minutes. The second element, <coughs> which is uh, over here, it's editing. These are actually creative components. Creative components eventually enable you to make it your own. No matter how much we automate and, and create for you or help you create, still you got to have the ability to do your final touches, to tweak it, to make it your own. So these are actually um, 
editing components, but they're way, way more simplified than what's out there in the market. And the third component is extremely important. Uh, content, when I say content here, I mean raw content, raw footage, images, videos, social uh, media. Um, one of the biggest issues in creating content is the rights to license or the, to use that content, to actually distribute it out there. So we teamed up um, with over 20 content providers, all the wires and all the content owners like Getty Images and Reuters and AP and AFP and CCTV in Xinhua in China, and any, anything you can imagine. And we basically have access to all of their content in real time, and it's fully licensed to use. You don't need to take care of anything. Everything is prepackaged, licensed, ready to go. The second thing that we eventually solve are the, what we call the redistribution rights. You created that content, you want to put it on social, you want to put it on OTT, whatever platform you're using, you're covered. We cover those rights with the content owners, so you don't need to hassle with it. It's a huge pain in the ass for those who create video and, and need to, uh, to do that. We solve it very nicely. And we bring all those three elements, automation, creative components, and content into one platform that enables you to turn a video, so, sorry, a story into a video within about 10 minutes. That's a little bit about our asset library. Again, it's, by the way, it's a slide is a little bit uh, off where it's about 100 million assets that are licensed that we um, clear through our platform. Uh, and it's, it's, it's something that is growing uh, weekly. By the way, there are both editorial and commercial rights. For those who you are marketeers who want to do content marketing in video, clearly you know you need commercial right to use content. So we do both editorial rights uh, for the publishing and media space as well as commercial rights for the uh, business and, and brands. <clears throat> I'll show you um, a couple of quick use cases, and then uh, we'll create a video. Uh, w when, uh, when I was invited to do this session, I was wondering uh, what, what kind of video would we do? And then I figured, you know what, the, the best thing to do is a video about this event. And funny enough, uh, NOAA advisors are actually a client of Watch It. And the videos that you see uh, throughout the event and during the event are made with Watch It. So, it's, uh, so I decided, you know what, let's do a video with Watch It on, on NOAA. Uh, by the way, if anyone wants to uh, or haven't yet tweeted something with a video or an image, I uh, um, urge you to do it now, take a picture or something like that or a video and, and tweet it with uh, at NOAA conference and in, in a minute you'll see how it gets integrated into our video very nicely. Uh, but to give you a little bit of an idea on, on the different use cases, uh, these are content marketing use cases made by our platform. Um, I'll pick just maybe one or two to show you the output. But Aon, uh, for those who don't know them, it's a big services company. Uh, this one is, comes from uh, Singapore. And what they do with Watch It, they, they basically do what is called um, thought leadership. They, it's a, it's a, they have an HR agency, and they are creating various videos. And in this case, they put them on LinkedIn in order to promote their brand. The latest hiring trends. So this is one, uh, one example. Take you through maybe one more example so you have an idea. Uh, let's take this uh, tourism um, agency that uh, posts things on Facebook to promote a, a destination. Now, you can see in, in this video and the previous one as well that there is no voiceover on those videos. Um, you know, back, I would say that uh, Facebook, uh, Facebook took, took us back to the days of Charlie Chaplin, basically, right? Because ever since they started playing videos on mute. So uh, people are not telling their stories in voiceover, but they use big text overlays and other graphic elements to tell their stories. Obviously, we uh, uh, support both formats. You can do videos with voiceover and without. Normally, you would see those on social networks, in many cases, without voiceover. And uh, other examples could be from, you know, uh, like hardcore news um, publishers like um, CBS News. Uh, I'll pick up this one as one example. Again, this one runs on Facebook. Um, so again, covering um, an event, in this case, a tragic event. <coughs> um, but again, they have access to all of what we have, all of that content coming from the wires. And that video takes literally minutes to take out and put it on social media. If 
you go uh, um, ever to CBS, you see that literally, I would say 95% of their videos on social are made with WatchIt. And I can take you through many other examples, but let's, uh, let's jump into the platform and let's uh, create a quick video about, uh, about the NOAA conference, um, and then you'll figure out if it works for you. Okay, so clearly everything, I uh, didn't mention it, but clearly everything is in the cloud. Everything runs in the cloud. You don't need to install anything. You don't need to run anything. Uh, you just simply log into your account. Uh, by the way, um, Watchit is a, is a B2B company, so there is, there is no online registration. Um, <coughs> you need to get in touch with us in order to create an account. Uh, we're not a direct-to-consumer um, video creation platform. It's for businesses. So I will log in with my social account. And I'll take you quickly through it um, and show you some examples. So first of all, there are various ways to, to create a video uh, and watch it. One of them could be, um, show me what's going on out there. Uh, I want to create a new video. I have no idea what I want to talk about, but I want to react to something that is happening. In this case, it's like being inside a newsroom like, have you ever been to a newsroom when you have all those screens from you know different places in the world and you can see what's going on? Um, so this is primarily the same. Like this is what's going on now. And uh, if I wanted to uh, um, to look for specific stuff, well, what's happening in Berlin? I could. Okay, that's just one example. And by the way, if I would go to, uh, for example, here, these are by the way videos and images, again, all licensed and ready to go. Um, and if I'll go to Twitter in this example, and I'll shoot here, um, no uh, conference, it'll show me all the tweets happening now, and you see there's quite a bit. Like people are tweeting about the event. Uh, this could be that kind of tweet that is completely text-based, or it can be a video that someone shot, Saying good morning. Okay. So this is happening right now. So that's one, one way um, of um, building a story. Um, looking at what's out there and starting from there, picking up a few elements and, and, and starting your story. The other approach <coughs> uh, would be to go to our Discover page. Uh, and here you have two, two different sections which are um, uh, important. What you see here below is what we call ready to publish. These are trending stories happening out there. And these are roughly 300 videos a day ready to go. Ready to go means that you can um, either take them as is or potentially, um, or potentially um, reproduce them. By the way, mean, re means reproduce them with your own branding. This is something that we do. Uh, to go a little bit into this, um, when we onboard new clients, we, and, and for the first time, we build a graphic package that fits their um, style guide, basically. So it comes up with their branding completely like it's their own. Every, uh, once we do that, and it's a pretty short process, every video that they produce afterwards look, you know, carries their brand. For whether it's the opener, the colors, the closer, the, their fonts, everything. It looks like completely like their own. And they can literally say, produce here, and it will come up with their um, branding. Alternatively, they can say, you know what, no, I, I like that video, but you know, I want to make slight uh, edits. And I will go into edit mode, and you'll see in a minute, I'll show you some example of how simple it is. And uh, you know, speaking of simplicity, maybe let me show you one thing. Um, I'll show you one nice thing uh, in Watch It, which is, again, is so different than, uh, than any other platform. If I, if I wanted to add, um, Let's pick up an image of a frog. Sorry, over here. Okay. If I wanted to add an image of a frog, and I'll pick up these images, and I wanted to hit in a sp on a specific word, I can literally drag and drop that image on that word 
and that's it. It will appear uh, synchronized completely with the voiceover. Okay. So these are the kind of things when I when I talk about simplifying stuff. These kind of things like syncing, uh, you know, visual elements with uh, with voiceover is usually takes a sound engineer to look at the waveform and, and and start doing it manually in a very hard labored process and in in, in watch it is super simple. But let me take you through um, another easy way to do a video. In this case, we'll do the Noah video right now. I'll delete this one. We have what we call storyboards. And storyboards are essentially, they're a type of, of template, in a way. Uh, but the difference is, is that we provide a huge library of uh, templates, but we also enable you to create your own. So you can create storyboards that you can then reuse and repurpose to create more and more stories. So just examples could be um, you want to create you know, the, the, the ultimate clickbait, like the listicles, right? Like five things not to eat in the morning or five things not to eat you know, before you go to bed, right? Those kind of things. So you have what we call a listicle format that you can, uh, that you can simply use and, and, and repurpose it. Or let's say a quiz format. Let's, uh, you want to interact with your uh, audiences. So you can do... Um <coughs> A quiz, or let's say, uh, where's uh, guess the celebrity? Let, let's take pick up the death quiz. Guess the celebrity. I don't, I don't know if you can guess. So you see all those uh, again. So the elements are licensed. The graphics and animation are automated. The counter that you put here is is a widget that we put on top, makes it very easy to to create. So this literally takes five ten minutes to create. Okay, so now let's um, let's pick up our uh, a template or actually a storyboard that we've created especially for the uh, for the for the Noah event, and that storyboard basically wants to um, wants to tell on tell what the what's going on on Twitter specifically with respect to the event. So let's let's pick up this uh, this storyboard and let's see how we can quickly create a video about what's happening right now. By the way, what you see here are different production lines. That means like different brands that we carry. In this case, it's, uh, it's the, the NOAA conference production line, which I uh, attached myself to, because as I said, NOAA are clients of ours. And as you can see, there's no media selected over here, but they're just, so to speak, placeholders. I can already play that video. You can see a rough cut over there. And let's play around with it a little bit. By the way, are there any any questions before I start doing that? Okay, so let's go. So let's in this case, it's it's a video which is essentially about what's going on in Twitter uh, with respect to the event. So let's let's do that. Let's pick up a few nice things. Um, another thing that I want to show you, let's pick up the tweets first, is that I want to show you how I add my own media. Okay, so first of all, I'll pick, uh, I'll pick that tweet that I've tweeted 10 minutes ago or 30 minutes ago. And I can say, okay, let's add, add it to my light box. Uh, let's see who else tweeted. Um, I think this one will be great, right? We must add it, right? So let's add this one. Um, and we'll pick up another nice one. Let's pick up one that has only only text on it, so we'll see how it looks like. So I picked up a few um, tweets, um, and then I can add some more media. In this case, what I did is I used uh, I used our app. It's like a mobile app that we have. It basically enables you to shoot some stuff on your phone, wherever you are, and upload it directly into the platform. Uh, by the way, clearly we also integrate with uh, um, existing archives for big companies who have archives of content or big brands that has lots of content. We integrate with different CMS to enable to mix and match the content. So in this case, I, would just, uh, I just shot that video over here, and I'll, I'll simply add it to the Lightbox as well. And let's quickly, um, let's, let's do a quick nice video. So um, I'll take that uh, V over here and just simply drag it 
over here just located over there. <coughs> um, what I want to do with this one, I want to shorten it a little bit, and I want to add some nice text overlay on top of it. And here you have multiple ways to do it. So I can, I can add various elements on my video to make it look nice. So I'll, in this case, I, can, I will add um, um, I will add a quote. I want to show you how this works. So let's say I said something in, uh, in, my, in my session, and I want to say, um, really looking forward. to my workshop at NOAA. Sorry. OK. And what I'm showing you here is that I'm, I'm not actually doing video editing. I'm, I'm putting a couple of fields. I want to show you what that looks like when I'll do that. It will apply a complete graphic element on top of that video asset to bring in a nice, a nice quote. Okay. Uber out in the background. And yeah, I didn't like the sound. I don't want it. I can say, you know what? Uh, mute it. And I can mute the background sound. Now, clearly, uh, that kind of uh, graphics is what we usually customize. So. Not every brand should look like this. This is my brand or the Con NOAA conference brand, but every, anything could look you know, differently, and that's th these are the things we customize. So let's uh, add this uh, quote over here. And now let's, uh, let's take those tweets, like there was a text tweet here that I just simply want to replace, because it's, it's, it is a storyboard, as I mentioned. So I just drag and drop it over here, and I'll drag and drop um, the, other, um, the other tweets as well. Okay, the demo phenomena, as you see. Hopefully, the other one will go will be okay. Let's go in and out for a second. I'll go back to my drafts. Okay, and now I will drag the tweet over here and the other tweet over there. And, and at, the, at the end of it, I want to add a nice funny GIF. So I'll look for the word fantastic. And there are plenty of nice funny GIFs that I can use. Um, let's pick up a nice one. Let's pick up this one. All right. And I want to use that um, GIF at the end just to have something, you know, nice and funny. So I will drag it over here. Um, I don't need this asset. I will simply remove it. And there you go. I'm basically done because I was using a storyboard. Let's see a, a rough cut of how it looks like. <coughs> Some tweets from the people out there. OK, I don't want the sound in here either, so I'll edit it. I'll, I'll take the sound off. Pretty easy. Keep on playing. Now, the beauty, if I figure this is a little bit too long for me, I want to shorten that tweet a little bit. That's, oops, sorry. That's super easy. And we'll just drag it a little bit and just shorten the tweet slightly. I want to shorten that tweet as well. And I'm pretty much done. And that's it. The next step, uh, after I do that, um, I want to see how it's going to look like um, as a final video. So I'll hit preview. Now, what's happening now, as opposed to what we've seen, what you've seen here is what we call low resolution rough cut. like. It, it lacks a few animations between the elements and some other things that we automate. 
um, and, it's the, and it's all low resolution. Now we basically create um, uh, a fully um, rendered video. Again, it's all, it all runs in the cloud. We render the full video, so we download all the videos in HD and high resolution images, and we put, and we put in the graphic uh, element on top. You see that it carries the NOAA logo to the right. That's part of their package. And uh, moreover, I want to... I want to pick up a thumbnail that look nice, so I can say, okay, let's capture that, uh, that one, and that will be used as my thumbnail for the video. Now, clearly, um, as you see, you see down below, there's a, it generates a video link. In many cases, people want to review. We are integrated with Slack. So you can review with other team members uh, if it, things look nice, if, uh, uh, if they are approved in some cases, and then you can publish it. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. In this case, I do want the sound. I think it's important. All right, and a closer. Nice. Now, when I hit produce my video, this is where it creates the high-resolution full HD video. Uh, and again, since it's, it's in the cloud, I don't need to wait. I can basically start uh, a new video immediately. I can create a version of it, and let's, let's do that quickly. Let's duplicate this and edit it, and let's do a square video that will go into Instagram or Facebook. So as I said, it's pretty much a click of a button when it uploads. <laughs> ah. mm. Okay, here's my video. And again, um, I can simply select a square, by the way, the video that, that I did just now is rendered, fully rendered. And I can select a square version. And it'll create a square version for me instantly. As you can see right here. Okay. And you see that, for example, here, the, uh, all the graphic elements are adjusted, and the tweets graphics look different. Everything is set up for me. I don't need to do anything. And I can, uh, I can say, you know, this is a great one. I just want to make, um, make another video that is square. Let's have a quick look at the, uh, the output of the previous one. I'll go to my produced videos. Um, and this is my full resolution HD video done, ready to publish. And then I can simply um, publish it. Like first I can download the video if I wanted to. Uh, in, in most of the cases, by the way, we're fully integrated with the workflow of, uh, of the companies we work with. Uh, whether, whatever they use, they use OVPs like Kaltua, Bytecove, Uyala, those kind of things. Well, they use marketing tools or marketing automation tools to publish things at specific times. So we basically produce, uh, create a feed for them, and it gets directly integrated into those platforms. But, but you could still um, download the video. You could have a, do a link. You can take the thumbnail. Or you can simply tweet it uh, directly from here. OK, so there you go. I can, I can tweet. Check out my new video. And I will upload it. And there you go. I just tweeted that video. Um, that's uh, quickly it. Um, and if you have any any questions, I think it would be a good time. <laughs> yep. Any?
Yeah, you mean in, when, while you edit? Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, while you edit those videos, and uh, let's, um, let's pick up anyone over here, it doesn't really matter. Uh, there is, again, first of all, as, as I mentioned, the idea is that most people don't necessarily use it because they want something super simple. But as you said, we do have some advanced uh, stuff like, uh, let's pick up this one. You can have various um, effects and elements. So you can have, you can blur images, you have image filters, you have video effects. So you can do various filters like, you know, black and white and sepia and those kind of things. Uh, if you want a video to look really, or cinematic, or you can do even video effects such as, um, let's pick up one of those video effects, and let's pick up this one and make it look like a silent film, you know, old movie. So we have various effects and, uh, that you can apply. And this is just one, uh, one example. Yeah. Looks like an old movie. So we do have all those creative elements as well. Yes. No. Correct. Correct. First of all, the, uh, we, we do not compete with Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro. And by the way, uh, this platform is very focused on creating short form video. I didn't mention it, but it's, I assume it was clear. But it's anywhere between 30 seconds to three minutes. That's, uh, you could create a 10-minute video or a 15-minute video. It's, it's unlimited, but I wouldn't say it's the best tool to do it with. If you want to do a... Uh, I, I wouldn't do a movie with this, right? Uh, but for those who need scale, who need to be relevant in social media quickly, um, whether, it, whether they're coming from the publishing industry where news is... You know, at the speed of news, you need to create content, or whether you're a marketeer that wants to react quickly to something that is happening, or you just want to create a campaign that, to promote your brand, uh, and you need five videos a week, there you go. No. Yeah. So we do have uh, an app that you can capture video and upload it. We do have it. Uh, as I said, but the, the final editing is eventually done on, on your browser. Uh -huh. But we do have the app that enables you to shoot some stuff, cut it, and upload it directly to the platform. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I agree. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> First question. Second would be, uh, can you manage uh, multiple audio layers? So one language and the other, and maybe the third, or if this is done by copying and mutating uh, one version of it. Uh, the third would be uh, the copyrights of the music that mm -hmm. goes on. Uh, you said that you, yep, you yeah, yeah. all covered, but all covered. The music would be I'll explain. A, a little tricky. And if there's any tutorial uh, with... Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Um, the first one was about uh, multiple tracks. No, length. The length. Oh, again, I, I wouldn't say when I say I wouldn't recommend. I would. First of all, it depends on what what do we, what do you consider a long video. We do have clients that generate ten minutes videos on a daily basis. You could, we do not block it. One of the things that you see, uh, as opposed to any other editing platform, is that we don't have uh, multiple timelines. We don't have multiple tracks, it's a single track. That's part of simplifying things. When you have a single track and it's very long, I will just show you how it looks like. If I'm, if I'm gonna take this track, and I simply, for the others who, can, who, may, who, might, not, who might not, if I will just zoom it in, you see, I can, I can zoom it in. It, it isn't really comfortable, right? So you can, you can zoom out and make it a little bit shorter and much nicer to edit. But I would say that editing a one-hour video wouldn't be comfortable. Uh, that said, that's not our intention. Our, we are very, very focused on short form. The second question was on multiple different languages. So first of all, um, there aren't multiple audio tracks. There, are, uh, there is the ability to control voiceover as a separate track and the music as a separate track, and the voice coming from uh, an asset as a separate track, but there aren't multiple audio tracks. You do need to clone those 
and put different tracks. That said, and by the way, this is something that we just added recently, um, we've had um, Eurosport during the, uh, the uh, Winter Olympics doing videos in 10 different languages. Um, it was amazing. They created during the event something like a thousand videos and, and they had to move from to do it in, in, in Danish, in Italian, in Spanish. And um, What we've added recently is the ability to literally automatically translate. So you create a video in one language and will automatically translate to another. So, and, and it will do it in almost any language that you can imagine. Okay, from Chinese to Italian to Spanish. And that's done automatically. Saves a huge amount of time. Clearly, you gotta make your fixes and you gotta make, uh, make sure it, it's perfect, but uh, it saves a lot of time. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, you need to clone those and create copies with different audio tracks. Th uh, third question was? Yeah, so tutorial, clearly we have, uh, we have a full tutorial. You can, uh, first of all, we have online support constantly. So you can speak with people online. These people are waiting to answer your questions online. Uh, that's one thing. And the second thing is we have, um, uh, we have our complete support sec uh, se uh, section on our website with full tutorials from how to create your first video to anything that you can imagine on any feature. It's all up there. Music and music copyright. Music copyright was the last question. So clearly, uh, clearly, music is uh, music copyright is is, co is is done. When you see here, the the this is the video, uh, the audio track. By the way, we normally automatically select the most suitable track. So we understand, especially when you write a script, we understand the sentiment. With it. is it sad? Is it happy? And then we, if it's some 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 maybe maybe it's a it's a disaster. You don't want any music at all. You just want it muted. So we understand that, and we mute the sound automatically. Or we put something. That said, you can have full control over selecting uh, your sounds. Um, and I don't know if you, if you guys have seen the the the. Uh, the startup uh, stage plan, but there's a, co a company here called Epidemic Sound. We work with them, so all the tracks that you see here, we have m more than one partner, but Epidemic Sound is one of them, and all these soundtracks are licensed completely, and you can select them by mood. Uh, I want something epic, I want something uh, natural, I want something sad, and you will get different tracks that you can use. Selected said in this case. There's a limited selection. You can upload your own. Uh, you can upload, as you see you can, here, you can upload your own. If you have your own track that you have rights to it, you can, you can upload it. That limited, by the way, that limited selection is, I'm talking about thousands of tracks. So it's not that limited. The, you, you can create thousands of videos each with the different, with the different music. Did I answer? I think the pricing I would leave offline, because pricing is... Um, is uh, since we're not a B2C company, it's a little bit different. Any other questions? Yeah. We have two more minutes. From Twitter? Yeah, I'll explain. Ba basically, what we do on, on Twitter, we work with, uh, I know, one minute, I know. We work with their APIs, and we basically um, get what their API provides, so we license it through Twitter. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if you're aware of it, but when you upload something to Twitter, you basically give the rights to Twitter to do whatever they want with it. Same, by the way, with Facebook. You as an individual. I don't know if you were, have, you've probably never read the... Uh, the small letters, but that's essentially what happens. Now, we do not necessarily get everything through that API, but what it is available through the API, you can see it over there. And then it's ready to go, we can use it. Okay, thank you so much.